Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, well thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. Today's video, you guys, we are getting into what I consider to be 10 out of 10 fragrances, okay? What does that mean? They perform, they smell absolutely amazing, the packaging is there, the quality is there. So without further ado, let's get into my list of fragrances that are 10 out of 10. guys so before we jump into today's list we do have a sponsor for today's video and that will be the amazing luxury decant company since gift i don't know where you have been okay but if you are blind buying everything you're doing it wrong i am definitely one that prefers to try and test out her fragrances before i splurge i have lots of niche in my collection majority niche fragrances and let's be real, with that price point usually being over 200, you know, on up into what, maybe seven is probably the most I've spent on one single bottle. We want to test, <laughs> we want to get our nose on things. And I am just so amazed at the selection, the quality, and the customer service of Sense Gift. You absolutely need to go ahead and check out my description box below. Click on their website, okay? Look at the selection. Look at the affordable pricing, the different size decants. I'm telling you, if you are looking for those hard to find luxury designer and niche fragrances, Sense Gift is the way to go. You can actually save on your first purchase by subscribing to their newsletter and get an instant coupon. So you guys, they were kind enough this month to give me two fragrances. So beautiful beautiful packaging as always <laughs> and you know what these are two fragrances that i had on my radar two that i had at one point anticipating blind buying there's a beautiful packaging and you guys when i when i say i cannot thank sense gift enough for sending me these because they were nothing like i expected Okay, the first one is going to be from the house of HFC. And this fragrance is called Black Princess. The bottle is stunning, gorgeous detail in the bottles. I love, you know, the, the quality of bottles for that house. The last one um, that I sampled from them, which was Wrap Me in Dreams, was stunning. This one, very, very different from what I thought it was going to be the notes they it sound amazing it sounded so like something i would blind by but there was just something really funky about this on my skin and i don't know why like there's no animatic notes in here that will cause that i don't know if you know, their particular selections of florals, if, if some of those may have an atomic quality, I don't know. But there was just something very off about this scent. And that's that's one thing that you just, you just realize the further you get into your fragrance journey, it doesn't matter what the notes are. It does not matter what fragrance it says, it doesn't matter what the perfumer says, you have to test this stuff on your skin. Body chemistry plays such a role, okay? Cause this one absolutely did not work out for me. And so I'm very glad that I was able to try before I, you know, splurged on a scent of this price point. So the next one, very popular from my beloved <laughs> Zerzhov. And this is Naxos, okay? So this is a very sweet honey tobacco scent, but you guys, this, to me was, when I say so sweet on my skin, it was almost sickening. I mean, it is very, very hard for a scent to be like truly sickeningly sweet, glowing, just I almost like had an upset stomach. That is how sweet the honey is in here. Then I felt like the more it dried down, the more of the aromatic qualities would come out and it started to lean quite masculine to my nose and on my skin. When I tell you, I had contemplating blind by this so many times. 
I've had such great luck with Zerjoff, but they have such a range, such a range. And again, you just never know by reading notes. I love a honey note, but this was, when I say this is way too much honey for me, this is literally like me dipping my head <laughs> in a jar of honey. And this one, unfortunately, just was a no-go for sure. All right, you guys. So again, check out Scents Give in the description box below. I would love to thank them for sponsoring today's video. And so uh, let's go ahead and jump into this list. All right, you guys. So the first 10 out of 10 fragrance is going to be from the house of Alexander J. Listen to me. I spoke about... Um, Oriental Enigma on my Gourmands video. Love it. Absolutely stunning fragrance. This one I got probably about a month and a half after I purchased that one. And this was a slow burner for me. The rhubarb. It is very, very tart in the opening. Not as quite you know, it's tart as like Delina, but the rhubarb is definitely present in the scent. And for me, I kind of have to be in the mood for that note. Delina, when I get ready to wear Delina, I literally have to snip the cap and see if my mind is, is you know, and my nose is ready for that rhubarb note that day. Your nose is not always in the same mood, okay? So this one, I put it on and I was so on the fence about it for like a week. Finally, I said, you know what? I'm gonna give it a real wear. I'm gonna wear this to work. Overspray. Listen, about 15 minutes, you know, on my commute to work, I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> Chill in the air. Like this is really hitting this fragrance. Oh, did I even say the name, child? Imperial Peacock. This thing was really starting to come alive on my skin and clothes. It's wafting around in the car, in the air. When I tell you, I was literally amazed at how many men stopped me before noon, okay? So I had this fragrance on for about six hours. Every couple hours, some strange man on the street is stopping me. What are you wearing? You smell amazing. Like, what? I was, listen, I was outside. I was outside on the passenger side of my car, bent over, looking for something, you know, in, in my bag, in my patrol car, okay? My coworker came out of the building. This has got to be 20 feet away from where my car was. He said, oh, there you are when I popped my head back up. And he was like, I smelled you when I walked out, but I didn't see you. I'm like, you can smell me? The, these fragrances did not come to play with the projection. I'm telling you, I'm thinking this is a vanilla scent. It's cinnamon, okay? It's gonna be a little softer wearing, certainly than Oriental Enigma with the saffron and the hazelnut and all those heavier, denser notes. This projects, <laughs> this performs. It lasted all day on my skin. <sighs> so this fragrance has a rhubarb in the opening. Listen, give it time for that rhubarb to die down because what you're going to be left with is this absolutely gorgeous vanilla, almost kind of like a dry vanilla, like a dry vanilla uh, cinnamon scent. And it is, it is stunning. It is stunning and I cannot get over how beautifully this wears in that cooler weather. This is going to be your winter vanilla. This, I don't know what they put in it, but the men love it. The men will be stopping you in your tracks. Now, when I first started going on and on about these fragrances, Joma Shop was carrying it. It was the plug, okay? Um, a couple of bottles trickling here and there, but I'm telling you, go on ahead and go to Harrods and get it at a discounted price, not as much of a discount is Joma Shop, but if you're buying this straight from Alexander J or you're buying this from Javois, this retails for like $330, very pricey. Is it worth the price point? That's always very subjective. But if you're looking at the quality of the scent, the performance, I, I would be willing to pay for a price for this fragrance because what's gonna happen is Harris is gonna sell out again because remember when I talked about Oriental Enigma, sold out. It was sold out for like a month and a half, okay? Then Harris got it back. 
this is gonna sell out again. Now it is a hair, like it was an exclusive for Harrods, like the packaging, everything Harrods, but it is starting to show up at other retailers now. So I don't think it's any longer an exclusive. This is also being sold on Javois, um website. And is, am I saying that right? Javois, Javoy, okay, the uh, website. And it is my Dallas girls, the scent room carries this line to my understanding. This is what the, the Dallas, you know, babes are telling me. So if you have a scent room in, by you in Texas, stop in, sniff the line. Beautiful fragrances. I've only smelled two. I would actually love to go ahead and get my nose on the one dedicated to rose because you know I love rose scent. But we've spent too much time on this, okay? Imperial Peacock, get your nose on this fragrance because it is the vanilla that you need for winter, 10 out of 10. All right, you guys, so the next one up on this list is another vanilla. I promise y'all, this is not gonna be a vanilla video. Okay, we got two more vanillas. And then after that, I promise you, it's not gonna be a vanilla video. The next one is uh, relatively new. No, very new. This is like my re most recent purchase. Honey, absolute aphrodisiac. I cannot believe I waited this long to try this fragrance. Um, Scents Gift sent me a decant. I was so afraid to test this fragrance for so long because it had that castor note in it. And it had like, I don't know if there is an official suede or leather note that's supposed to be in here. I don't like those super barnyardy animalic notes. This is perfection. <laughs> this vanilla is so sexy that it's scary. First of all, wore this to work for the first and the last time. I don't know what they put in here. I, I honestly think they have pheromones in this fragrance. I wore this to work. This went well beyond compliments. I got asked out on three dates. Three dates by three men that I don't know. I am not exaggerating. I am not exaggerating. I'm never wearing this again. Not to work because first of all, I don't like being approached that way when I'm in full uniform, okay? Respect the badge, okay? Respect the uniform. It's because I was just really floored by the amount of attention I got in one day from this. Vanilla, vanilla, sexy, sexy, sexy castrum notes, which I feel is what gives it this very sexual quality. It is so intoxicating. It is very alluring. This is not a loud beast, but you will feel her presence. Okay. And I don't know what scent the men are getting, but they're getting something and it is driving them absolutely insane. Like I cannot imagine Wearing this out on a date night with somebody you know, your boo, your bae, he's gonna lose his mind. I mean, when I say waiter, check please, like he, it's, it's gonna be as soon as you get there, y'all gonna be ready to go because this thing is literally named appropriately, absolute aphrodisiac. It is so sexy, phenomenal. 10 out of 10, okay? Lasts all day on your skin, lasts all day, for sure. Not a loud projector, but it definitely lasts all day. And I mean, I cannot get over how good this smells. It's sweet, it's beautiful, and you need it, trust me. All right, so next up on this list is going to be from the house of Liquid Imaginaire. This is Desert Suave. Now, we all know about Blanche Bet. Honey, I done ran her into the ground, ran a hole in the carpet talking about Blanche Bet. I love it. But don't sleep on this house like in general. It is a phenomenal house, super underrated, okay? Desert Suave is by far the most unique orange blossom in my collection and the most unique orange blossom that I've ever smelled. This is an oriental orange blossom. And I really don't have too much of that in my collection. Like Desert Suave literally transports you to like, I'm serious. You are glamping 
um, you know, in the desert or you're on Camelback underneath the stars in Dubai and you can see this beautiful skyline the horizon, on the horizon, the water, like it's a vibe. This is a vibe and the notes are very unique. This is not gonna be a safe blind, but I definitely test this first. This is very sweet, very sweet and it is sweetened with dates and y'all know I love a date note, but this is so, it's almost like, a honeyed, dripping, syrupy date. That is the sweetness that you're getting with that beautiful African orange blossom. Sesame. It has a sesame note. When I say, when I say, honey, we are off in Abu Dhabi somewhere, just living. We are living. I'm telling you, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. The nose of Quentin Beach and. This man knows how to blend a fragrance. He knows how to create something magical, unique. Like his nose is just, listen, he's creating a lot of cult classics lately in my mind. All of the Delinas, uh, Fleur Narcotique, which is very popular right now. Um, what else has he done? Oh my God. Uh, Hibiscus Mahajad. I haven't smelled that one, but very, very popular. Just so many beautifully executed fragrances. The thing about this is very sweet, but this is very unisex. It is the cedar, I think, that really comes in, it grounds it, and to my understanding, this is like some Moroccan cedar that they use, something very, everything in this thing is exotic, okay? So when I tell you it's it's giving, you know, Middle Eastern Oriental orange blossom, oh my God, it is so Stunning. Men, get your nose on it. Wears so sexy on a man. I actually see more reviews from men um, talking about this one than women, but women, stunningly sweet orange blossom that is going to, you know, not really remind you of any, it doesn't remind me of anything in my collection or anything I've smelled. This is not your typical orange blossom and it is a 10. It is beautiful, super underrated, Get your nose on it. Desert Suave by Liquid Imaginary. Right, so we're talking about 10 out of 10. You know my love for this fragrance, possibilities. I have been ranting and raving about it. Uh, La Perla, listen, I don't know what y'all got going on in the lab with their, you know, their latest uh, release launch of this, this particular, I think this is the Hot Perfume, uh, Hot Perfumery line, if I'm not mistaken, but Super, super sexy, spicy rose. Deep, dark, lush rose. It's got patalia. It has got pink pepper. It's got akigala wood. It is beautiful. This is a very dressed up, maybe special occasion rose. So if you have a date night where you're wanting to stun, this is when you pull it out. Um, some people are saying like, this is going to be their signature scent girl, by all means. Okay. If you want to do it like that every day going to work, you go right ahead and you stun, but this is such a lovely fragrance and it is, it's designer. Um, but I would say this is appropriately priced. I don't know. Like these designer fragrances are kind of getting up there. Like they trickling up. Okay. You're, we're, what are we paying out on average for a bottle of a designer fragrance? About 150, 125, 150. Um, the smaller bottles, they, they're always selling out. This is very potent to me, to my nose. I'm very sensitive to spices. So this is going to last me a while. Some people, the spice is not as spicy to them so they can overspray it. This, that would kill me. It would choke me out. It's too potent for me but they have a very large, like four ounce bottle and then they have the little ones. So they have something in the middle where you can get a refillable so you can refill this smaller bottle if you want. Um, but of course you wanna at least get your nose on it before you commit to like that big four ounce bottle. Like this is too potent of a fragrance for me to need something that large. This is a 10, okay? I've been ranting and raving about it. Um, the first person I ever heard talk about this, Kate's Beauty Station. The way this woman describes fragrances, I don't know, but she just has me blind buying, okay? She has me blind buying. I have not heard anyone talk about this fragrance before her. 
Then I jumped on it, been raving about it ever since. Now it's just, it's starting to pick up like all of this steam and I feel like it's well-deserved. The nose of the, you know, beloved Louise Turner. She gave us Lost Cherry, um, super popular, spurred a whole cherry trend within Fragcom. Don't matter what you feel about Lost Cherry, that is what it did. It's very popular, okay? Very well-loved. Um, she gave us Blanche Beck. So Louise, she knows how to create a scent that gets the girls riled up and going, okay? And Possibilities is a no different. So Nordstrom exclusive in the US, UK babes, Harvey Nichols, stop in, pop in, test it on your skin. Not gonna be a rose for everyone, okay? It's not gonna be a rose for everyone, but I particularly enjoy the scents that are not for everyone. I don't want to smell like everyone. I want to smell unique. I want to smell stunning, okay? And this is a stunning designer fragrance. So get into Nordstrom, get your nose on it. And yeah, possibilities, La Perla. I've spoke so much about this on my channel. Let's move on. Okay, you guys, so next up on the list is going to be another orange blossom, but this orange blossom completely blew me away upon my initial sniff and that is going to be Neroli Blanc Intense. This is the most gorgeous, sweet, indulgent, deep Neroli scent that like, I don't understand how I can get any better than this, okay? I don't understand how orange blossom can exceed this fragrance. This is how an orange blossom should smell, should feel, should, it is all of the things. So this fragrance has more than orange blossom, okay? But you're going to get Neroli primarily. I think there may be a little bit of rose in here. Um, let me look up the notes. I just wanna be certain. Okay, yeah, so there is orange blossom. You have mandarin, orange, bergamot at the top. You have jasmine and rose in the mid. The jasmine and rose, they don't stand out. The star of this show is without a doubt the orange blossom on the rolly. You smell that throughout the fragrance. It is beautifully blended and I feel like it is quite linear. So what I'm smell like what you smell in the beginning is kind of what you get in the end. It has vanilla, musk, beautiful cedar wood and sandalwood in the base, but this is just a beautiful orange blossom. I mean, just simply put, like it, it, I don't even have to go on and on about it. When I say this is gonna be the best $115 that you spend, I think US uh, shipping to the US because you can only get this um, across the pond. <laughs> shipping to the US is 20 bucks for, with this company. So you're not breaking the bank, okay? Beautiful niche perfumery, this performs. This lasts all day. You get compliments off this. People will smell you. I mean, you will smell yourself and it is a 10. Like this orange blossom is a 10, okay? Um, yeah, very beautiful, very, very beautiful. It is sweet, but this does not go off into a gourmand um, territory. Now, there are some fruits in here and I don't know what fruits. It doesn't come off. It, the fruits have to be non-discriminate because all I smell is a very sweet, indulgent, um, you know, slightly woody, vanillic orange blossom. That is what I get. And it is stunning. Like the dent is there. I this this is a kind of a beast mode of a fragrance, and I haven't even had it two months, and we are looking like this. Like when I when I'm in the mood for orange blossom, like this is kind of my go-to now. Like if you saw my top 10 for life, this made the list. Like everything on that list, y'all done heard me rant and rave about for months now probably, but this one claimed a spot. It did not take long, but honey, it's beautiful. Just check it out. Click on that link and get this in your life because if you are a lover of Orange Blossom of Neroli and you like sweet fragrances, you will not regret buying this fragrance, I'm telling you. Again, that is Neroli Blanc Intense. So next up on the list is, oh my God, this fragrance is probably one of the most beautiful vanilla fragrances that I've ever put my nose on. I have so many vanillas. Y'all know 
how I feel about vanilla. If you have been rocking with me even for a month, you probably have already kind of come to that conclusion. I don't play about vanilla, I love vanilla. It is my favorite note in perfumery, period. Okay, P put a dot at the end of that sentence. It's my favorite note. Baby Cat by YSL is gorgeous. When I tell you, I don't like suede in my fragrances typically. I do not like, I mean, incense, I'm not gonna say I don't like it, but it's, I don't have any predominant incense fragrances, okay, or oleobanum. Listen, now that I have smelled this, I'm like, okay, I may need to get my nose on more prominent incense fragrances because this blew me away. This was risky because it was a blind buy. I never put my nose on it. Very hard to get in the US, but it, it you can, you know, just do a little bit of work. You can get a bottle. Is it worth the work? Yes, absolutely. I was fortunate enough to score this from an individual seller and you will find individual sellers. Like that is how you're gonna get it in the US. Selfridges, they were carrying it upon release and I don't know if they plan to restock this. Apparently, they're not going to release it to the U.S. on the YSL U.S. website. They just had a new release for um, Lavalier. What, what's up with Baby Cat? Why we can't get Baby Cat is readily available in the U.K., okay? Anyway, that's neither here nor there. This thing is stunning. It performs. I wore this and I just, I, can't, I said it in my last video, I cannot think of a time where I've smelled better than this. This is rich, it is indulgent, it is a heaping dose of incense and vanilla. That is what you're gonna get. Yes, there is suede, but it is so well blended. Like you get way more of a, like this creamy incense uh, vibe and this like bourbon vanilla. That is primarily what you're getting. It's sweet, it's definitely a beautiful unisex fragrance. And I cannot speak highly enough of this. This is super hyped right now. And it deserves every single praise and worship and, and hype that, that it's getting, in my opinion. This is, you know, it's not, if you don't like incense, this is not going to be for you, okay? So don't, don't try to step out, step out there and, and, and get burned because it would be, if you do not like incense, this would be a risky buy for you, period. I don't like suede and leather, but the suede and uh, the suede note in here is, is taking a back seat to the vanilla and the incense. So beautiful fragrance. What can I say? I'm obsessed with this. I think when I finish filming, when I wrap, I'm gonna just cover myself in baby cat. It's beautiful. It's stunning and absolutely a 10 out of 10. If you can get your nose on this, if you can get this bottle in your life, if you have opportunity to buy it, just buy it. If you don't like it, you will absolutely be able to unload it resell it but I think that if you love vanilla if you even remotely like incense you need this in your life it is gorgeous and yeah moving on <laughs> all right so the next one up on this list is going to be an oldie to my collection book goodie oh my goodness look at a little dentation here this is passion delamore by the house of siage this fragrance you guys was my very first oud experience okay it is oud, like the oud is there. It is there, but I find that I can do almost any oud provided that it is very sweet. Oh my God, this is so feminine and sexy. It's oudy, I think there's some raspberry in here, there's some layer tricks. To me, this is slightly powdery. This is like, wow, I mean, you have somewhere special to go. You want to stun. Just put this on and I promise you, you will turn heads. This is, the to me, this is still like my number one house of sillage. I have five, six cupcakes. I can't remember, five or six cupcakes. Honey, they're all, all of my house of sillage I love. They, they are all really good fragrances, great fragrances. Highly recommend them all. But this one? Honey, she's on a pedestal. She's on a whole other plane. She's in a league of her own. This fragrance, because of that, ooh, um, yeah, you, you're not gonna have to overspray this. 
You're not gonna have to decant, top it off. It lasts you all day. And for me, this fragrance almost smells like, it has a cotton candy vibe. That's saffron and it is so sugary sweet. Um, but you know, that saffron gives like a little bit of an airy quality to it. But oud saffron, you know, raspberry, it's sweet. It's absolutely to die for. And the packaging, I mean, th this this is just the, some of the best packaging in perfumery to me, okay? You got the French cut glass, honey. You got the ombre going on. You have um, heavy metal cap engraved on the, you know, the inside. Uh, just, hello. Sarasi crystal surrounding it. They, they spared no detail, no expense on the packaging, but this juice inside, stunning, stellar, 10 out of 10, and it gets them every time. The last two fragrances on this list, I'm gonna say you need to wear them together. They are tens separately. When you wear them layered, okay? When you wear them together, you're talking about smelling like a 20, period, because Duquesa by the House of Greety. Beautiful. Beautiful, sweet almond cherry fragrance. This, to me, has such a beautiful, unique quality. It's got these white florals. It's got peach. It's got the star anise. It's a little spicy. But the saffron, honey, that saffron with that cherry and that almond... This lasts all day on your clothes, okay? Skin, you still gonna get a good eight hours. This is a beast mode scent for me. Like I smell this throughout my day when I wear it to work. Um, and then I had the nerve, y'all. I had the nerve to layer it with Baccarat Rouge, which is the last 10 on the list. And it's one of my all time favorites. They both have the saffron, okay? They're both sweet. They're both quite opulent, you know, separately. And they belong together. When you pair these, you're going to smell like you have quite a bank account, okay? Quite a stock portfolio, you know, quite a, a, a collection of cars and handbags is what you're gonna smell like. Such a rich, beautiful, opulence, you know, layering combo. So if you have both of these, layer them together. Get your saffron, get your saffron life, okay? Very sweet, indulgent combination that will project. That will grab all the attention. And literally, like I said, have you not smell like a 10? You're gonna smell like a 20. Again, that is Duquesa by the House of Greasy and a Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. All right, you guys, so that is our video for today. Make sure that you drop me a comment below. Let me know fragrances that you deem to be 10 out of 10. Also, leave me your sense of the day. I'm very curious and would love to know. You guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Double, double check. Now, make sure that subscribe button is hit. Make sure notification bell is turned on to all. And last but not least, give this video a big thumbs up if you found any value in the content as it continues to grow my channel. You guys, it has been real. I have thoroughly enjoyed this time with you all. I will catch you on the next one.